What's good guys? Welcome back to the Vault Pro Scooters. My name is Austin and today you guys are going to be joining me for another YouTube video. Today we're going to be covering the lightest parts in scootering as of winter of 2021. We have never dedicated an entire video to light parts aside from like the lightest custom build, which we are going to be redoing soon. So keep an eye open for that. But in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going through each part category and telling you what the lightest part of each category is so you guys at home can stay up to date and in the know of what the lightest parts are. Because apparently if our comment section is right, a lot of you guys care about weight. And today I'm here to answer all the questions you guys might have. So without further ado, let's get into this. I'm not going to lie, guys, I had to do a lot of homework for this video. I had to weigh a lot of scooter parts. I'm not gonna cap, I had to weigh half of our inventory, I feel like, to really compare every part that I thought would be really light. And it's really funny because a lot of parts that you think are light aren't light when you compare them to the actual lightest part available. So there might be a couple of uh, surprises today. Some of the parts that you guys thought were the lightest might not be the lightest anymore. And some of the parts that you thought would be the heaviest are actually the lightest might not know. We're gonna go ahead and start off with bars. I know not everybody can afford titanium, so I wanna offer you guys a steel option, but the craziest thing is the weight difference is really not that, it's not that much. So let's start with steel. All right, so what is the lightest steel bar, you may ask? The answer is the Triad Launder Bar. What? You didn't know that? I didn't know that either. To be completely honest with you, I thought it was the uh, Ethic Trianon Bar. I was wrong. This guy right here, is the lightest steel bar, at least to my knowledge. If you guys know that I'm wrong about any of these weights, don't be surprised, because I'm a moron. But the uh, Triad Launder Bar is the lightest steel bar that I could find. Made from 4130 chromoly steel, has these really, really cool gussets here to uh, reinforce the bar. 27.5 inches tall by 24 inches wide. It's a fairly large bar. And finally, the Launder Bar weighs 2.2 pounds. It's a steel bar that weighs 2.2 pounds. I had no idea this thing existed until five minutes ago. That's crazy. Moving on to titanium, probably not gonna be too big of a surprise here, but TV titanium T-bar takes the crown once again. Our titanium bar comes 27 inches tall, 24 inches wide, and only weighs 1.9 pounds making it the lightest titanium bar on the market that you can get as of right now. But most of these Taiwan made titanium bars are gonna weigh pretty much the same because they're the same bar. All of the products in today's video consist of aftermarket parts that you can buy straight out of the box from the vault or any other scooter shop and that's what the weight is for the product. Not modified, not cut, not changed. If you buy the titanium T-bar at its full height, it weighs 1.9 pounds. Obviously, if you cut it, it's gonna weigh less. And obviously if you take a deck and you cut the deck down, it's gonna weigh less. But this is weight for the stock part straight out of the box, no workarounds, no shortcuts. And hopefully that avoids any of the comments down below screaming at me that if I cut the pandemonium deck down to like 12 inches long, it's gonna weigh a pound. We're not talking about that today and we're not talking about plastic core wheels either. Cause I know a lot of you guys are gonna bring that up when I get to wheels, but either way, TV titanium T-bar, 1.9 pounds, lightest tie bar on the market. If you guys are interested, link is down below. Okay, now that we got bars out of the way, let's go ahead and move on over to clamps. I do have double clamps or triple clamps as well as SCS clamps. So you guys will have an option for the lightest SCS clamp and normal clamp. So let's go ahead and do the normal clamp first. I'm sure a lot of you guys aren't gonna be surprised from this one either, but the Ethic Self Clamp is still the lightest clamp, at least to my knowledge. There are some new products coming out very shortly because Christmas is right around the corner. So we might have some other clamp taking the crown, but as of right now, Self Clamp still holds it and no surprise to it. I mean, look at this thing. There's barely any material on this clamp. You got cutouts everywhere. Pretty much the maximum amount of material was taken out of this guy. But however, it's still strong. The Ethics Self Clamp weighs 0.10 pounds. So like 0 0.10 LBS. That means it weighs 1.6 ounce with clamp bolts. When I did all my research and I was weighing every clamp in our warehouse, I discovered that the Lucky Double Standard Clamp right here weighs exactly the same as the Ethic Silk Clamp. This guy weighs 1.6 ounces. This guy weighs 1.6 ounces. Did you guys even know that Lucky's clamp was that light? I bet you didn't because I didn't know and I worked at the scooter shop. And if you guys don't believe me, we're gonna weigh it. Look at that, 0 0.10, sheesh. That's insane. Like I can't even feel this thing in my hands. It's so light. So those right there are the two lightest clamps on the market. If you guys want the lightest clamp on the market, there you go, go cop one. Let's move on to SCS clamps. This is where things get 
pretty interesting. So if I were to ask you guys right now, watching the video, what is the lightest SCS clamp you can buy? I'm sure a ton of you guys would say the Aztec Pandora SCS. Aztec aims to make the lightest parts on the market. They've succeeded. So to guess that the Pandora SCS is the lightest one out there is no surprise. Honestly, if you were to ask me that question on the street, that's what I would say as well. But upon some research, found some really cool information. So I do have the Aztec Pandora SCS right here. This guy has all four clamp bolts and a compression bolt and cap because we are gonna weigh it with a compression bolt and cap. Just like if any of these clamps came with a shim, I would weigh it with the shim as well because that's what it weighs with its hardware and everything. So the Aztec Pandora SCS with all its hardware weighs 0.5 pounds, which means that this clamp weighs half a pound. Once again, incredibly light. But did you know there's two other SCS clamps that you can buy right now on our website that weigh the exact same weight? My guess is they didn't know that. Option number one, the Native Stem SCS clamp. Not only one of the most affordable SCS clamps on the market, one of the lightest SCS clamps on the market. That's crazy. You, you wanna see? You, you want me to weigh it? All right, I'll weigh it. As you guys can see, this guy weighs the exact same weight as the Aztec Pandora SCS. Compression bolt and cap included, all four clamp bolts. I didn't know that either. I'm shocking myself just as much as I'm probably shocking you guys at home. But what's that? There's one more SCS clamp that weighs the exact same weight as these two? Yes, there is. I'm a spoiler alert, there is. And that clamp is North Scooters Profile SCS Clamp. Yes, you heard me right. North, the people that make some of the strongest decks on the market, their lineup is getting slimmer and lighter as it comes out. And this is one of the lightest SCS clamps on the market. It weighs the exact same amount as the Pandora SCS and the Stem SCS. And to prove it, we'll weigh it. All right. What'd I tell you? Three SCS clamps all weigh the exact same amount. Half a pound for each of these, which means when you guys buy one of these and you throw it on your scooter, it's literally only gonna add half a pound to the overall weight of your scooter, which is absolutely insane. That makes these three SCS clamps the lightest SCS clamps on the market today. So we've covered bars, we've covered SCS clamps, we've covered double clamps. Let's go ahead and move into the bread and butter, the lightest deck on the market. We, uh, we have in the time machine, we go back. I've done the ultimate park build and I've done the lightest custom build ever. First time I did it, I used the Panamonium 19.3. Second time I used the Hydra deck. When the Hydra deck came out, it was, you know, displayed as the lightest deck on the market. I used it. And just like I predicted, you guys destroyed me in the comment section, letting me know that the pandemonium was lighter than the Hydra deck. And I had to see it for myself. So today I weighed both of the decks and yes, you were right. The pandemonium is lighter than the Hydra deck and I will prove it to you. First up, Aztec Hydra deck. Here we go, guys. So the Hydra deck weighs 2.9 pounds. Incredibly light for a deck, do not get me wrong. Let's weigh the pandemonium though. Did you guys see that? 2.45 pounds, 2.45. This deck is incredibly light. This deck hasn't been changed in like six years. This has been the same Pandemonium deck that has been sold over and over again, hyped up over and over again. And to be honest with you, you ever hear the phrase, it's not broke, don't fix it? That is the motto of this deck. It's strong, it's reliable, it looks great. And it is also the lightest deck on the market. So now that we've crossed decks off of our list, let's go ahead and move into wheels. When it comes to wheels, I'm only counting professional scooter wheels, wheels that actually have an aluminum core, not plastic core wheels. I'm only counting professional grade scooter wheels that you guys can buy at scooter shops today. And I do have a 100 mil option and I have a 110 mil option just because I know not everybody's gonna wanna ride a 100 mil wheel. However, if you're aiming to make the lightest custom build ever, which once again we're doing again, so keep your eye out for that, that is gonna matter. So the first wheel in this category is gonna be no other than the Root Industries Honeycore wheel. This wheel has been holding the trophy for the lightest wheel on the market. I mean, the Honeycore design was pretty much made and intended to improve on the hollow core design and make it as light as possible while keeping its strength. And that's exactly what this wheel did. You can't mistake this wheel for any other wheel out there. The Honeycore pattern is iconic. To give you context, a majority of hollow core wheels weigh just about half a pound a wheel. So that means that the pair of wheels is gonna be about a pound. However, the Honeycore is lighter. One individual Honeycore wheel weighs 0.45 pounds. So just under half a pound, which means as a pair, it would weigh under a pound, which makes it the lightest 110 millimeter wheel you can get today. 
so I thought. So technically it is still the lightest 110 millimeter wheel you can get, but there's another wheel that matches it in weight. And that wheel is the Aztec Architect wheel. The Aztec Architect wheel is the wheel that comes stock on the Aztec Architect Complete. It is honestly one of my favorite looking wheels on the market. So I mentioned that the Honeycore wheel weighs 0.45 pounds per wheel. The Architect wheel weighs 0.45 pounds per wheel as well. So these guys weigh the exact same amount and I will prove that to you over at the scale. Honeycore up first. As you guys can see, 0.45. Next up is the Architect wheel. 0.45. Boys and girls, proof is in the pudding. 0.45 pounds for both of these. That is absolutely insane. So now the Honeycore is not the lightest 110 millimeter wheel on the market. It is one of the lightest 110 millimeter wheels on the market. I'm going to include this 100 millimeter wheel option only because it is lighter than the 110 millimeter options. But when it comes down to the raw numbers and just pure informational facts. This wheel that I'm about to show you is the lightest pro scooter wheel on the market today. And that wheel is no other than the 100 millimeter Ethic NQ wheel. This is it boys and girls, the lightest pro scooter wheel you can get today. How much lighter is this wheel? Just flew away, that's how light it is. So how much lighter is the 100 millimeter NQ wheel compared to the Honeycore or the Architect wheel? Imagine that those guys weigh 0.45 pounds. The 100 mil NQ here weighs 0.40. 0.4 pounds, so 0.5 ounces. But this wheel is the lightest wheel you can get, so let's go ahead and weigh it. Look at that, boys and girls. Once again, man, I'm not lying. Proof is right there. If you guys are interested in the lightest scooter wheel on the market today, this is it. Ethic in Cube 100 millimeter wheels. Alrighty, so hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. We're making our way through plenty of the parts. We have two more categories to go through and the next one up is going to be forks. When it came down to weighing forks, there's honestly a ton of light forks on the market. However, there's still one option that reigns the lightest. It's significantly lighter than a lot of the other forks on the market, so I'm not going to be talking about any other one today. We're only going to be focusing on the lightest, and that fork is the Aztec Circa fork. We touched up on Aztec earlier about how they focus around making the lightest parts, and they did it. This fork right here not only is beautiful to look at, but it is also the lightest fork you can buy today. This thing weighs nothing. It feels like a fork, like an actual fork that you would like eat food with. That's how heavy this thing is. It doesn't weigh anything. And the weight that I'm gonna tell you guys right now is including your axle and your compression bolt and cap. Why am I measuring it with the compression bolt and cap? Well, it comes with it. So I'm gonna give you guys the weight with it. I'll actually give you the weight with it and I'll give you the weight without it, just so nobody at home is gonna yell at me. All right, so Aztec Circa Fork with the compression bolt and cap weighs half a pound even. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the compression bolt and cap and we'll weigh it then. Oh man, this vault wide tool just make it so easy to get these bolts out. Links down below. All right, so compression bolt and cap has been taken out. So let's go ahead and weigh it now. What is it? Jeez Louise, this fork without hardware weighs 0.4 pounds. That means that this fork and this wheel weigh the exact same amount. But this fork is actually a very structural part of your scooter. You need to be able to rely on a fork to sustain the drops, the impact, and everything that you might give it when you guys ride. And this fork does it. This fork is incredibly strong, but it's also incredibly light. We have made our way to the last section in today's video, which is grips. I weighed like nine different pairs of grips today. Most grips weigh around the same amount. I'm not gonna lie, they don't really vary. Heavily, there are some grips that are heavier and some grips that are lighter, but most grips weigh around the same weight. The lightest that I could find vary between two grips, and the first one is gonna be ODI Long Necks. These guys have been every BMX rider and scooter rider from the early 2000s best friends. They're pretty much like the only option for a very long time. And here we are talking about them today. We're talking about them today because they are one of the lightest grips you can get. They're not incredibly long, they're not incredibly thick, and how much do ODI long necks weigh? Let's let the scale tell you. And we are gonna be weighing them with bar ends. Obviously, you should be riding bar ends. If you guys aren't riding bar ends, I don't know what you're doing with your life. So as you guys can see, the ODI softies weigh 0.2 pounds, which means they weigh 3.2 ounces, which is incredibly light. I can't stress that enough. These guys weigh absolutely nothing 
but they are not the lightest grips on the market. I actually don't have the other grip today because we sold out. But if you guys watched the lightest custom build that I did in the past, I used them in that video. And those grips are Ethic Foam grips. So like I mentioned, I don't have Ethic Foam grips with me right now, but Taking a look at Ethic's website, they say that Ethic foam grips weigh 27 grams. So after doing a little bit of math, 27 grams is just under one ounce, which means the Ethic foam grips are the lightest grips on the market and they are gonna be the lightest grips on the market for probably ever. I weighed out bar tape, I weighed out other grips and nothing comes close to Ethic foam grips. I'll make sure we throw a photo of them up on the screen somewhere. Photo of Ethic foam grips here somewhere. Those guys are made from foam, just like a ton of other grips you can get on a Razor scooter, something like that. All right, so that brings us to the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed me going over the list of all the lightest pro scooter parts available today, please let me know by hitting that like button, dropping a comment, letting me know if I said anything incorrect, or if you guys have any recommendations that you guys want to see in the future, we read every comment. We try our best to reply to every comment. So we really appreciate every single one down there. All right, well, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one.